Hello, this is Scott uh, at the Wizard World 2014 Comic Con for Nolan Nerdcast, and I'm here with uh, Jacob. Jacob, and you are the Fourth Doctor, Tom Baker. Matt Smith, the Eleventh Doctor, and the Doctor's TARDIS. I tried to get into Doctor Who. Couldn't get into it whatsoever. Try to convince me why I should watch Doctor Who. Hmm. I think part of why it's good is because it is kind of terrible at times, and you can recognize that it can either be really, really terrible or really, really good. And it's just, it's fun, like old comic books in a way. They're kind of terrible, but also kind of amazing. I just think it has terrible acting. I, I, don't, I can't understand what they're saying. Subtitles are a thing. I can't read. Well, are you a smart person? Yeah, I think so. Then why aren't you already watching it? Because I like America's shows. Oh. I mean, it's definitely got British accent, you know, the British humor and some stuff in there, but, I mean, it's been on for 50 years. It's got compelling plots that go through. Well, Brit Britain never changes, so they don't adapt well, so they just stay the same. Arguable. Yeah. <laughs> Doctor Who's been around for a while. So why did they steal the idea of from Star Wars of R2-D2 with the Dalek? Uh, <laughs> I think Daleks are a little more sinister than R2-D2, so... Maybe they're R2-D2's evil cousin, you know, we'll, we'll say that. Okay, fair enough. Why do you think the show's been on for a long time? Because they have the ability to regenerate and so they can get more actors. <laughs> that just sounds dumb. It sounds stupid. It's mildly stupid, but that's what being a nerd is about. Loving stupid things too much. But it has to make sense. It does make sense. No, it doesn't. There's so many plot holes. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of plot holes, but there's a lot of black holes in space, and it's about space, so every plot hole is a black hole. Well, space is stupid, just like Doctor Who. Plus oh, the yeah. ability to constantly cycle through casts in the form of the assistants, the form of the Doctor, and most of the villains gives you kind of endless writing opportunities. You never have to worry about one character you don't like being there for too long because chances are they'll leave. Okay, uh, I was, I'm just bored right now. So, you know, I mean, yeah. <laughs> so what does this whole 50 year of Doctor Who mean to people? It was huge. I mean, everyone, I think it was, it's one of the best episodes I'd seen in a long time. Um, I think people really, okay. you're right. Go ahead. Keep going. Um, <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. It was fantastic. So that's really all there is to say about that episode. I thought it was bigger in here. I believe this is the 50th year of Doctor Who? Yes. Correct? All right. So tell me, like, what does it mean to people in Doctor Who community and everything? Well, from uh, going to the panels and then also uh, seeing Matt, Pitt, Matt Smith also talk in the panel last night. It's a lot of people are sad to see Matt Smith go. And uh, oh, wait. I, I got a phone call. One okay. second. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm just doing this stupid Doctor Who thing. Let me call you back. All right. All right. I'm sorry. That's okay. Uh, what, I, the, what does it mean? Okay, there you go. I cried. I cried like 40 times. I cried a lot. That was the most amazing moment of my life. Like tears of joy. Honestly, I, have no, I don't know Doctor Who that well, um, but I saw someone dress up as Matt Smith pointing to you saying you dress up as the worst doctor. What do you have to say to him? Uh, well, he's easily the best classic doctor. Uh, he's probably the first doctor to really put the show on the map. Uh, how many seasons? He was on for like eight seasons, I want to say. Uh, he's, he was one of the longest running doctors, so I would disagree with that statement. All right, so you, you think there will be a Matt Smith fourth doctor beatdown? I like the one, um, I guess the 50th anniversary. It's my, one of my favorites. I like the uh, little Cyberman mm -hmm. head that he had. It was the cutest. I cried so hard when it died. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about, but I'm sure that's the best episode ever. So I heard the next Doctor after this Doctor was actually going to be a woman. What do you think about that? Uh, there's speculation of woman or um, 
or black guy is the doctors possibly they're talking about changing it up which would be which would be interesting see what they decide to get that out yeah if they change it to a woman you think they should make the phone booth into a kitchen <laughs> oh god <laughs> no comment uh, okay all right well that's all the time we have here at the wizard world comic con and i'm here with ending it with uh tom baker fourth doctor all right see you later